Hello beautiful souls, this is Christy with Art of Awakening mm -hmm. and uh, welcome to this reading for the lunar week of uh, April. Uh, let's see, what are we at? Um, it'll be April 12th through the 18th. This will be for um, the week starting with the three-quarter moon in April and leading up to the full moon in Libra on the 19th, I believe. Um, all right, so for this week, I am using the uh, Shaman Wisdom cards. I've really been loving this deck lately. Um, it is, oh, here it is. It's created by Leita Richardson, um, available online in various places. And just, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this deck. It's uh, really an interesting one because it's not just animals. They've got the directions, they've got seasons in there, um, the various crystals, um, plant totems, trees, all sorts of stuff. So it's it's really um, been an interesting one to work with. It's not necessarily the most simple one to work with. So I'm I'm kind of learning a, a little bit deeper. It it, it I'm finding it a, a rather a little bit more deep um, deck to work with. So if that's something that's of interest to you, you might want to check it out. Um, all right and. For some reason, I was drawn to using this page for my sketchbook. Yeah, the horse energy. And horse has a lot to do with balance. So I guess it's no surprise moving up towards a Libra full moon that we might be asked to be looking at balance. Because um, horse has a lot of kind of um, conflicting energies, not conflicting, but um, can be very impulsive. It's got, I think, you know, it is, there are some conflicts with horse. There's the desire for freedom versus the desire for service and that kind of thing. So, all right, power versus sensitivity. So this first one, Okay, um, this is interesting because I did a, a reading for myself earlier and this card came up as well. I did shuffle the deck very thoroughly. Um, so this is the direction of East um, and it's actually coming forward. Um, a lot of times I'll do a four direction and I don't have this facing East, but I usually do start in the East. Um, I'll put it actually in the East there. And it is like new beginnings. It's sort of like, okay, I think we're going to be really, we're looking at starting a new cycle here in this week. And whatever that means to you, it might be a new cycle for, you know, any of a number of things. Spiritually, I think, is coming forward for me very strongly. Um, and it could be a new cycle with maybe relationships um, feel and for you what where you might be ending a cycle and about to step into a new one um, so this this uh, East is also a lot about um, the mental um, kind of the mind and the element of air so we're looking at communication and wanting to keep communication clear. So it'll be really important this week to consider how you express yourself. Are you communicating your needs? Are you, are you clear in your communications? It's asking for clear communication in everything that you do. Um, all right, so I wasn't sure I was gonna do four direction <laughs> reading, but I think I will. Here is the one for South, um, Jasper. Uh, Jasper is a crystal that I like to think of. It for, to me, it's a really, really grounding crystal. Um, so I'm getting from this, and Jasper comes in all sorts of different colors. There are many, many types of Jasper. Uh, they can be very beautiful. Um, kind of, I have a, a pendant that I wear a lot that has my horse totem on it that is red jasper. <laughs> what that's drawing attention to for me is maybe this element of balance in the root chakra, this grounding. So seeking balance there, you might want to take some time this week and uh, consider devoting a little bit of time to grounding, connecting with Mother Earth. Um, you know, Jasper 
in general is, is a good one for connecting with the earth. So whatever you that means to you to connect with Mother Earth, it could be meditating with her. Um, I have, uh, let's see, a good mentor of mine, um, uh, his name is Ryan Angelo. He had a um, an exercise that he's suggested um, in one of his programs where you you sing Om as, as deeply as you can and really imagine yourself sinking down to the heart of Mother Earth and just being enfolded in her love as you as you um, sing this Om as deep as you can. Like, Om, oh, I can't even do it as deep. Um, but that, that can be a really nice sort of um, connector with Earth, even if you can't get outside, if it's rainy or snowy or something. But if you can get out into nature this week, um, that would be a very, very good thing to do. Just, you know, get out there and really give some gratitude to Mother Earth. Spend a little time because she gives us so, so much. And um, just tell her how much you love her and how much you're, how grateful you are. We all are for Mother Earth. Um, okay, so this one is... Long night moon. So these moon ones are really correspond with the astrological signs. Um, this one being um, associated with Capricorn, which is also an Earth sign. Um, it's appearing here in the West, which is the direction of intuition of dream time. And um, kind of looking at this cougar in the middle. The, the, so the dream element, the your dreams could be very powerful this week. And so the encouragement right now is to is to maybe really pay attention to dreams as they come forward this week. Your dreams may have a good message for you or a deep message. It may be even things that you don't want to hear, things that have been sort of... Um, kind of lurking. Um, I'm getting this this idea of the cougar just sort of in, in ambush or or just watching and waiting for their time being right. So the dreams that come forward this week may be dreams that have been waiting for the right time to come forward. So very significant dream work, um, potential for dream work you might consider actually um, asking your higher self to send you the dreams that will help you to stay on your highest timeline this week. And these actually may be dreams that have to do with your purpose or achieving your desires or goals or and especially in conjunction with any leadership position that you may be called to. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this last one this is showing up in the north, also cougar. Okay, so we've got cougar coming forward very, very strongly for this coming week. Um, cougar, again, a leadership is a big one for cougar. Um, and, and being true to yourself, especially. Being true to yourself and really being honest with yourself um, and being willing to just walk away from constructs or beliefs or people that are clinging to old beliefs that don't serve you anymore, being very discerning about, um, you know, where your place is in the community where your place is in the world and you know cougar is first of all going to be not not how should i put this um cougar will own its place in the world right but it's also willing to walk away from those things that are, are not its place or or just not serving it. So this balance between owning what's yours and owning your place and not 
trying to own all of it, right? To just be very selective about what's yours and what's not, where your be place to belong is, what's not, um, you know, what's calling to you, what's not, uh, maybe our responsibilities and really being discerning about, you know, why do I feel compelled to do this? Is this really, is this really balanced with the things that I really do know that are my purpose? Is, is this something that I'm feeling compelled out of guilt or out of a feeling of obligation to do? Maybe it's time to walk away from those things. And, and, or conversely, is this something that really feels true to me that's really resonating with my own truth and, you know, maybe time to just step into that and, and take your position of power, whether it's within your community or within your family or simply within yourself. Okay, so that is the reading for this week. I think this could be a powerful week. I am also feeling like it does not have to be a week full of drama, okay? I'm feeling like this can be a very balanced week and a very, uh, you know, a week to ground and a week to really, um, you know, really be true to yourself. But it will, it will depend on staying in your truth. All right, so hope you've enjoyed this. This has been a reading for the, um, the week in April from April 12th through the 18th um, this three-quarter moon through the full moon in April um, if you've enjoyed this and haven't yet subscribed I encourage you to do so uh, be sure to hit that bell and you'll get notified of uh, um, videos as, as I post them I will be posting the daily videos throughout April and then you know frequent videos after that if you are interested in working with me, definitely the link to that is below. I do also have my own animal card deck. I've got the link to that below as well. Um, thank you so much. I am so grateful for your presence in my life and on the channel. And also welcome any comments that you have. I'd love to hear your insights as well, especially if you got hits during this wheat reading that did not come up in what I said. Please do share because it will help others. And uh, you have a lovely week. And we'll catch you again soon.